I got another one. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another Shein wig video. This is the last one I'm doing cause I'm not finna keep buying these wigs. But when I did the post, I know the blonde one and the curly one, which was number two and number four on the post was like neck and neck, but the blonde one ended up winning, which I already did that video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm at like over half a million views on that. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, I know I had told y'all when I ordered the blonde one, I was like the blonde one won. But since the curly one was so close and so many of y'all wanted to see the curly one, I was gonna do it. So I didn't forget about y'all, even though I'm not supposed to be doing hair videos right now because I said I was giving myself a break for the month of January. But I got behind on videos last week, which I don't got those videos out the way. But I forgot about this one and I know I told y'all I was gonna do it for y'all. So I wanna go ahead and get it out before y'all forget about it and don't care no more. So I'm doing the unboxing, here's the package. Um, For those of y'all that wanna swear up and down that I didn't get it off of Shein cause I had a couple of people say that. <laughs> I unboxed it on camera and everything. Girl, don't play with me like that. Don't try me like that. But if you want to see the address, I'm going to cover up my address. I'm going to show y'all the address on the um, package, like where it came from. I don't know if that's Shein's warehouse address or the headquarters, wherever, whatever it is. But that's the address that's on the package. So you can Google that, see what comes up. I don't know, but... I got it from Shein. So, there you go. My last, oh, this is different, because my last unit, all it came in was a little clear Ziploc bag. But this one comes in this type of bag. It's like a pink bag, but it's clear on the other side. That's all that's in here. They didn't send nothing else. But yeah, let me show y'all again. Let me show y'all the label right here, because if you've ever ordered from Shein, you know what they labels look like. So, here's the label, okay? And you can look up whatever. I don't know if you can look up these numbers or not on Shein, but do what you want to do. Go ahead and pull up whatever you want to pull up. It's from Shein. I ain't got no reason to lie, and I ain't got no reason to sit here and have to continue explaining myself. You do what you want to do. You think what you want to think. But yeah, so inside of this bag, some nude wig caps. Is it one or two? Because you know, sometimes two come on here. It's two. So two nude wig caps, and then the wig is in here. So like I said, this is a 13 by six unit. I ain't had no 13 by six unit in a long time because companies that like they don't want to see me no 13 by 6 unit but my clear lace wig video if that's up before this one that's a 13 by 6 so but anyway this is the 13 by 6 lace frontal in 26 inches see that right there 26 inches so i'm gonna take it out the bag and this is a curly unit like i said comes inside of a hairnet and i don't know why people i really don't i mean i do know but people was like on my last video they was like oh you shouldn't have had to do all that to it with most wigs you have to pluck them so i plucked it I wanted to dye it because I wanted I didn't want it to be blonde. I wanted to wear a color, so I dyed it. Had to style it. You know, I had to do that. I'ma style it anyway, regardless of where it came from. Even if it's the best wig on earth, I'ma still have to style it. And then what else did I do to it? Oh, I toned the knots, which is what you do with any other wig. It's the same stuff you do with any other wig. I do nothing that I didn't have to do with any other wig from any other company. Anyway, this is what the wig looks like. Straight out of the bag. She looks roomy. Y'all know I have a big head. I'ma try it on for y'all though before I do anything. Cause you know, the last one was very snug, which is why y'all kept saying, oh. Oh, it's so far back. Why so far back on your head? Oh, your forehead. Girl, I literally said I was struggling to get it past my hairline. I was struggling to make it fit. So no, I can't pull it up any further. People are like, oh, you need to pull it up more. Don't you think I know that? You know, like I, I was trying to pull it up. I couldn't pull it up no further because it's too small. So I'm gonna try this one on to see if it fits or not. So if it don't fit, I'm letting y'all know now that if it's too small, that's why. But yeah, it was so many people saying that. It was like, ooh, your forehead. Ooh, this. Ooh, that. B you do it. How about that? You try and pull it up further on my head. I literally told you chittering eating this the shit was too small. Let's see you do it. Oh, okay. I had already explained that though, so I wouldn't even trip about them comments because I ain't finna sit here and go back and forth with nobody. I said, especially stuff I don't already explain. Girl, watch the video. If you watch the video, you wouldn't have had to leave that comment because you would have heard what I said. But yeah, okay, this is the construction. Like I said, 13 by 6 lace frontal is three combs in the front, a comb in the back, lace in the back, and an adjustable strap. So I'm gonna try her on really quick because this wig ain't on my head is just sitting up there. Ooh, she roomy. Okay, wait a minute. Cause she just went right on there. So this 
is already way better as far as the size and the last one because she just slipped right on there is it because it's a 13 by 6 frontal because you know 13 by 4 lace frontals obviously you have less to work with because it's two inches shorter but this y'all saw how it just went right on on there and it's like i can pull it up further the hairline i don't even see my hair past the hairline on the sides so that's good. And the only thing I'm gonna do to it, cause that's the thing I like about curly units, is bleach the knots and pluck it. Cause obviously this is not gonna cut it. But I do like the widow's peak shape hairline. But yeah, the hairline is very much low enough. So I'm already digging this. Even though I really love the last one, like how it turned out and everything, but it didn't really fit all that well. So hence why it was so far back on my head, which y'all made very clear in my comments. Yeah, I already like this a lot. And also with the last one, I remember I put in my pinned comments, I forgot to mention, it says 100 percent human hair it's like something just seemed a little off like it tangled up a lot more than any human hair including blonde hair that i've ever had it tangles up a whole lot like like over the course of a couple days even after like the first night i slept in it was tangling so bad the next day and i ain't never had no blonde wig do that no blonde wig tangle that much no black wig tangle that much so my barely my synthetic wigs tangle that much so i can't really tell if it's 100 percent human hair because like why is it tangling so bad and you know just kind of feels weird i don't really feel anything off about this so i'm already liking this this already done got more points than the last one for me because this thing went right on my head i got room on the sides and everything so y'all better not say nothing about it being too far back because it ain't because it fits so yay i'm excited i'm gonna have to pluck the hell out of it because y'all see that hairline is what the hairline look like straight out the bag without doing anything to it and all them knots up in there yeah no ma'am we're gonna fix that that's all i'm gonna do bleach the knots and pluck it that's the thing i like about curling units because all you have to do and you can style it however you want to you don't have to do too much because all you have to do is really wet it and brush it so Ooh. okay let's go bleach these knots so first thing i'm gonna do is just spray the whole hairline area with free spray and like brush it Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and I brushed all the hairs backwards and out the way to keep bleach off of them. So this is what we're working with right now. Look at all that part in space. Yes, all the way back. So let me go get my bleach. Okay, so I have L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach from the Beauty Supply Store and I also got the 30 Volume Developer from the Beauty Supply Store as well, the Superstar brand. So I'm gonna take my mixing bowl. Oh, let me get some gloves. Don't do this stuff without gloves. Okay, so I'm taking my mixing bowl Bowl, and I'm taking a little scoop that comes in the bleach bucket and I'm taking like a heaping scoop because um, I usually take like a little less than a whole scoop for a 13 by 4. I probably don't even need, I'm gonna scoop some of this out because I don't think I need all that. I'm gonna just scoop some of it out. That was a lot when I just saw that go in there. So there's that and I'm gonna add my developer and what you want is a thick like pasty consistency, like frosting, thin enough to spread, but thick enough not to seep through little holes in the lace. So it won't get on your hair, you over bleach it and you just look like a fool trying to fix that because it's a lot of work to fix it and very tedious. So it can be done. It's just, you don't wanna have to do that. I've done it several times before I finally got the hang of the consistency I needed for my bleach. So I just add until it's thick enough. Maybe like, cause I know people used to say the same thing. Like when I was trying to learn how to bleach notches, you go, oh, you just, I don't measure. You just add till it's the right consistency. And like, I would still do it wrong. So maybe I should like start trying to measure it so I can put exact measurements so that people can get it right the first time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Instead of screwing it several times before you get it right and messing up several wigs before you get it right. So I might do that. I might measure it and see the next time so I can figure out the measurements so that you know exactly how much to use to get the right consistency. So this is too thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more developer. Also, I suggest wearing a mask when you do this, not just gloves, cause this stuff's strong. See how it's stiff? Like when I stick it in there, it's not moving. It's not running off the spoon at all. That's what you want. So now we can spread it onto the wig. And I'm gonna start back here first, cause for whatever reason, the back of wigs be taking so long to bleach. And then I'll do the front.
All right, so I actually had just enough to cover the whole thing. So perfect, cause I ain't waste no product or nothing. So I'm gonna let this sit for mm, 15, 20 minutes and I'm gonna wash it off with shampoo and conditioner. And I'll be back when I do that. So the hair has completely dried. This is what it looks like after I washed it. I don't know if the knots really took all that much cause I really don't see a whole big difference and it was shedding a whole lot like i don't know i ain't never had no human hair wig do that and it was tangling a good bit but anyway this is what it looks like now the bleached knots so now we're gonna pluck it i'm not going to be explaining that in this video i may do one in the future so yeah but i'm using these slanted tweezers you know and i'm gonna wet the hair Boom, so there's one side. I'm not gonna do the other side on camera because there's no need for me to do that. But there's one side done compared to the other side, the before and after. So it's before, after. So yeah, so here's the other side done. Okay, so yeah, now all we gotta do is install it.
Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Um, I did a glueless install, as you already saw. If you've been watching my past installs, you know I haven't been doing bow hold. Just been doing glueless installs with the got to be in the black bottle and the got to be free spray. Um, so yeah, it was really good, especially for me only using those two products. But I'm gonna do some baby hairs because I like to do baby hairs with my curly units. So I'm gonna try this hack that I saw where you take lace tint instead of makeup to put on your lace because obviously I need some makeup like right here and right here. I put lace tint on my lace before I um, installed it. I do lace tint and then I do my makeup. But I use the bowl hole lace tint in the color caramel. I'm gonna do this hack where I saw like you put on a sponge and like dab it on there instead of doing makeup. Cause makeup gets messy. If you know anything about installing wigs and using makeup on your lace, at least on this side of your lace. Like I do makeup on the underside of the lace, but like when you do makeup on this side or get makeup on it, it starts looking messy and cakey and gross. So I'm gonna see how well this works. It's lace tint on this sponge, but I don't see nothing happening. Are y'all seeing a difference? Or am I tripping? Cause I don't know. But yeah, lace tint is a lot less messy and looks a lot neater and cleaner. I just can't tell if it's doing anything. I don't know, I feel like it kind of helped over here. It looks better. Okay, I'm happy with this so far. And I love curly units because you really don't have to do much styling unless you want to. But I think I might just do a simple side part and some baby hairs will call it a day. I was gonna do like a half up, half down or like those little crisscross rubber band things that people be doing. But I'm just keep it simple. Very simple, very simple. Yeah, that's actually a good hack. Put it on a sponge, lace tint on a makeup sponge and dab it on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna style it. Like I said, I'm gonna do a simple side part and some edges and that's it. So I'm gonna just speed this up. Okay, she's all brushed out. I don't think I'm gonna do the makeup. Like me, I'm not gonna do my makeup tonight and like do the intro and outro and take pictures. I really don't feel like it, so I might do that tomorrow. We'll see though. Okay. All right, y'all. This is the finished product. Um, The hair is dried. I did my makeup, it's the next day. Haven't had any issues with it so far overnight. I'm gonna get into that. Let me give y'all my thoughts on this unit. I mean, y'all see it, you see it. I'm gonna just give it a nine out of 10 and I'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute. So let's start with the pros. It's big head friendly. Y'all saw that when I tried it on in the beginning. No issues with it fitting at all. No issues. I didn't fight with it like I did the last one. I was struggling to get that one on. The curl pattern is super pretty. I wet it. I put mousse 
in it. It dried, no problems there. The lace seemed to do really well. I mean, y'all see that. Well, you don't see it actually, but no problems with the lace. The density, I actually really like the density on it. I don't know what the density is on it. I think it's 150. It's definitely full enough for me. Y'all know I don't like thin. And what was the inches on it? It was 26 inches. So let me stand up so y'all can see where it stops on me. So this is where it stops with me just standing here. I'm 5'3". And then this is where it stops like stretch length because that's how you measure curly hair. It's stretch length. So this is the stretch length. So yeah, it seems like 26 inches to me. No issues there. Now for the cons. Now the only issue I had was it shedding. And I showed y'all that it was shedding so bad when I bleached the knots. And I don't know why because I have never had that issue with human hair wigs. So that's got me second guessing if this is 100% human hair or not. Or if it's a blend. Or it maybe just sheds that bad. I don't know. I think I've only had that happen once before with a human hair wig where it was shedding that bad when I all I did was bleach the knots and washed it. Yeah. Yeah. And it was tangling up a little bit during that process when I was washing it. So I don't know uh, what was going on there. But those are my only issues with the unit. It doesn't tangle now. Like when I brush it and wet it and put mousse in it, it doesn't tangle at all. So I don't know what was going on when I washed it and bleached the knots. But now I don't have that issue with it tangling or nothing like that. It does shed a little bit when I brush it, but that's expected. Nothing too crazy. Just an average amount. So yeah. What y'all think of this one? What y'all think of this she and wig? It turned out really cute to me. This may actually be the best I ever laid a curly unit, to be honest. But it turned out really good. I mean, you see it, you see it. So I'ma leave that up to y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think of it in the comments. It really didn't give me too many issues. Can't say too much, can't really complain too much. And in the parting space, oh yeah, let's talk about that. That's another pro, this parting space, like look at it. It's not bulky or nothing. And it go back 13 by six. I need more 13 by six frontals. If any companies have 13 by six frontals, please hit me up because all people send is 13 by four these days. What happened to 13 by six? I like my deep parts. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you check out my website whoshebeauty.com where I sell my lashes my big blinks which are my 25 millimeter lashes and my baby blinks which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls I'm wearing a pair of my big blinks right now this is in the style Prada this is a pair of my fluffy blinks for my fluffy series they're big blinks only fluffier so go shop my lashes I also sell lip gloss my lip candies which are my tinted glosses currently sold out but they'll be restocked this weekend I have juicy watermelon which is a red tint Georgia peach which is a peachy tint and cocoa kisses which is a brown tint all super moisturizing I haven't come across any other lip gloss like it so I doubt you'll find any other lip gloss like it but you could try so yeah go my lip glosses if you're not a fan of the tinted glosses i also have regular clear gloss i have strawberry kiwi which is a regular clear gloss which is sold out right now and then i have diced pineapples which is in stock which is a clear glitter gloss I sell bags i have the crystal money bags i have spring mini bags i have rhinestone face mask COVID is not gone clearly get you a face mask you need to be cute with it and get you a rhinestone one so go shop those i also sell press-ons that i make myself you can shop any designs that i have on my website or you can DM my business page on instagram who she beauty and we discuss a custom order over there i do accept custom orders i also sell jewelry necklaces anklets i sell sweat sets oh valentine's day is coming up so i'm gonna add some new jewelry it's gonna be the heart shaped necklaces with the little thing in the middle i'll answer the picture what i'm talking about but it's like the little thing in the middle you shine a light through it and it as i love you it shines i love you on like whatever you're reflecting it on different languages so that will be on there probably this weekend as well for valentine's day and i also think i'm gonna put my valentine's day baskets back on there which comes with these items right here i did them last year it has like a rose bear a rose teddy bear the necklace the heart necklace and last year's lip gloss or whatever i might add different stuff this year or just do certain things this year i might not do all the same stuff that i did last year but yeah be on the lookout for those because my valentine's day baskets will be back and i also sell lash tweezers so if you have trouble applying your lashes this is what you need just because i feel like the process goes by so much faster and it's easy you have a lot more stability in my opinion so i suggest you get a pair of lash tweezers if you're not used to putting on lashes or you struggle with putting your lashes on so that is everything on my website so make sure you check out my website who should be.com link in the description as well as a link to my business page on instagram well that is it for this last shein wig video i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and make sure your notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that. So make sure your notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.